Let's talk about limiting the domain, or maybe even limiting the range. From the entry line, we can um, do a control equals back arrow one time. We could do a vertical bar such that. So we want to graph this such that x is greater than, and again, control equals will give us the uh, the greater than. Let's say it's greater than than negative one. All right, there it is, and it automatically turned it into uh, piecewise. So that's kind of interesting. Now, when it's a piecewise, we don't have quite the exciting little functionality about it. So let me go ahead and, and just turn it back into the uh, the x squared. Now, I can do that up here, uh, or I can do it back in the entry line. That's true. <clears throat> Next up, let's do a, a nice new feature. I'm going to insert some text. I right-click to, to do that. I inserted some text. I'm going to type x is equal to, how about f1? of y. All right, so now if I grab this with a control click to grab this and I drag it to any line, then would you look at that? Isn't that an exciting feature? And as you move this around, then it causes that one to change. Um, so we're, we're graphing, it's a neat new way to uh, graph an inverse, pretty much from the definition of, of what it means for it to be inverse. So that's a nice feature. Okay, let's move on to um, Hey, and look at it. it, it graphed something that's not even a function. Um, graph this nice relation. And uh, so next up, to answer the question, if I insert some text and I said x is, how about let's do a vertical line, x is equal to negative 4, but I'm going to do the such that, the vertical bar, which is a control equals, where you can find that, such that y is less than 2. All right, so if I were to grab this, then look how it's going to change it. You get a little preview of how it's going to, to change that form. And so, boom, there it is. And, uh, and so that was a um, nice little tip about that. Uh, the, the question was asked about, um, I like to use control menu here to change it to the equation type. Equation type, like for example, if I just do this vertical line of 3, then um, it won't automatically um, you, you can't here I'll tab back in there you can't go to um, to this one and say such that x such that y is is less than than 2 you it won't let you do that and get a little coefficient must evaluate to uh, numeric values so it only wants you to put in in a, in a value there like like 3 again so there it is and uh, and similarly with with all the other um, various equation types so that was my little show about fun things you can do. Um, for example, x is greater than, how about sine of y? And if I grab this and drag it over there, ta-da, there it is. Getting a little busy, so hope you enjoyed that.